Welcome to Tech Leveller, I'm Lee and in this super quick video I'm going to show you how to fix IRAM, memory, CPU and disk usage on Windows 11 and 10. Now there is a few steps to this, however I recommend taking all the steps that I show you in this video to really improve that high RAM, memory and CPU disk usage. The first step is to open up the run command. We can get this by right clicking on the start sub menu and selecting run. Now the first thing we want to type out is services.msc. Then we want to press OK. Now we need to look for super fetch or sys main. They're both the same, it just depends on what system you're using. So we'll click any of the icons here and press S to jump down to the S's. So we're looking for super fetch or sys main. So as you can see, mine's sys main. So if you don't find super fetch, look for sys main like me. Now as you can see, this is currently running. You can see here it's running. What we need to do is right click it to disable it. So let's right click, select properties, and you see startup type here. We want to drop this down and select disable. Now we want to press apply. Now if yours is still running, you can right click it and select stop. Now what this is, is what uses the random application, which we use frequently, and it makes it available for us to use on our Windows PC, and this is why the usage of the CPU is very high. So now we've disabled it and stopped it running, it will ask for it, so it shouldn't have the CPU and the RAM making it very high. So that's why we disable this. And when I turn this off like this, I've seen no ill effects on my PC, only positive effects. So don't worry about turning it off. But if you think it doesn't work very well, you can always come back in and right click onto the properties and turn it back to automatic or whichever one you want it on. But I'll show you if you right click, go to task manager absolutely fine here as you see at the top CPU, memory, disk, everything is all okay. So that's the first step. The next step is bring up run again. Now we need to type out sys dm.cpl. Now let's press enter. So here in the system properties we have computer name, hardware, advanced, system protection and remote. But what we want is advanced here. And we're looking for this performance here. Visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. So this is the type of thing that we're trying to fix. So we want to go into the settings. Now normally let's Windows choose what's best for my computer is selected like this. I recommend you selecting adjust for best performance. Selecting apply. Then we can press OK. Then OK again to get rid of this. And we can move to the next steps. Now we need to go to the task manager again. We can right click on our taskbar and come up to task manager. Now with task manager open, let's come up to the startup apps. So what you don't want to do here is disable anything like Wi-Fi, security, anything like that. But select the status here. So all these things are enabled. Do you need all these things enabled? Like this security ad leave enabled. Do we actually need OneDrive enabled? Right click, disable. Google Drive, do we need that enabled? No, right click, disable. Go through everything that you don't actually need enabled. Now, this isn't actually deleting the applications. You can still use them later on. All you need to do is just click them to open them up. 
maybe a little bit slower because they've not started up when your Windows device has started. However, it is minimal. The benefit of not starting them is much greater. Now you want as few enabled as possible. Now the less what are enabled will really reduce the RAM usage, the disk usage and your CPU. This is a really good task to carry out. But sometimes when you install Summit, just a simple app, it automatically enables to start up, which again is slowing everything down. Now we've done that, let's move to the next step. and We want to open up the File Explorer. Then we can go to this PC here. Now what we need to make sure here, see we have Drive C and Drive D. You want to make sure this is blue or green and there's plenty of space on your disk because if it's in a red colour, this means it's nearly full and this can dramatically reduce the speed of your disk and the RAM, the memory, the CPU, everything will be affected by it because everything will be harder work to get to. So if you've got many games on what you no longer play, get these off your PC. It will really dramatically increase your speed of your PC if your hard drives are not full. Now what we want free is at least 50 to 25 gigabytes. Anything less and it's getting full and it will really slow down your PC. So you really want 50 ideally, but 25 should be okay. As you can see, these two, this has 263 gigabytes of free and 540 gigabytes of free. And when I reduce these hard drives, I've seen a dramatic improvement in my PC and all that free space will be used as virtual memory and cache memory and as I say really speed up your PC. Now let's get rid of that and let's move to the next task. We can press the search here. Now here we want to search out for Windows updates and you should see it here check for updates. We want to go to this and you want to either resume update or check for them because new updates can fix any little problems that Windows been having and again speed up your PC and take that high RAM, CPU, memory, the disk, it can be affecting any of them so really get them updates on regularly. Now once we've done that we can go to the search box here and we can go to control panel. If you don't see it here in the recent we can search for it. Let's go to the control panel here. Go to hardware and sound. Power options. Now we're on this page. You should see high performance power plan. If you don't, then I recommend you selecting create a power plan here on the left hand side. And it should populate here. We can select it. Press next. Press create here. And now this should be my custom plan, as we know, is a high performance one. Now we have that high performance power plan on, it should give us an extra boost to our PC. Now the next step is we want to remove the cache from our PC. Now let's bring up the run command again. And we want to type out clean MGR. Let's press enter. Now what we want to do is select the drive we want to clean. As is Windows C, so we'll press OK. Now we can select all these and as you can see here it will take 2.67 gigabyte of data from our PC and this again will dramatically increase our speed as it doesn't have to go and find through all these temporary files what are not needed. And as we covered earlier saving space again is a big help. So once we've done that we can right click again select run and this time select temp press enter now some for some reason PCs don't have a temporary folder but if yours does select all the items in the temporary folder and delete them they're just temporary files it shouldn't cause any issues by deleting them bring up the run command again add a percentage at the start and the end now I do have this temporary folder now you can Select 
all this inf information in here. I won't do it just now to speed the video up. Delete it. And this will clear all this junk off your PC. Some files in this folder won't be deleted, but just leave them, it won't matter. It will clear a lot of data, what it can clear. Now, at this stage, what I recommend doing is actually restarting your computer. I know, that old cliche, however, it really does help. And all them settings that you've put in place will start to work and be put into place for you. Now, once it's restarted, check the performance. Are you seeing any improvements or anything like that? If you are, great. But I still recommend following these next couple of steps. Now, you want to go to this little upward arrow here. And if you have the shield icon here, you want to press this to open up Windows Security. If you don't have that in your taskbar, press the search box here and search out for Windows Security. It should auto populate here like that. So you can just press it and it's the same window. Then you want to press virus and threat protection. Now here we can have quick scan and things like that. However, if you're trying to speed up your PC, I recommend you selecting scan options and then selecting a full scan. This will check all the files and running programs on your hard disk. This scan could take longer than one hour. Now I recommend you're doing this at least once a month. Now I wouldn't leave it any longer than that. However, some people do, but it's well worth doing this once a month. Just set it to run, move away from your PC when you're not using it. It's perfect. It will find any malware or anything like that, which will really be slowing down your PC. Once we've done that, once we've selected full scan and we're happy, just press scan now. Now we can just leave that running. You don't need to be on the page. But I like to leave my PC alone while it's doing it. It seems to do it a little bit quicker. You can keep doing your work if you wish. You can just minimise it. And it'll be there on your desktop taskbar. Working in the background. Again, once this is complete, give it a restart. See if there's any improvement again. If it has found malware or anything that it's not happy with, I believe you'll see a massive improvement. Now, what will be great? If you let us know any improvements, right click, select your taskbar manager, have a look at the performance here, and tell us what improvements you got. Was the dramatic? Was the minimal? Was the worth it? Let us know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what improvements these little tasks did for you. If this video has helped, don't forget, smash the like, smash the subscribe, and most of all, thanks ever so much for watching.